What are the key reasons why your board search strategy is not delivering the results that you're after? One of the key reasons why uh, clients come to me and, and tell me they're just not securing the board roles that they'd ideally like to achieve in the market, the main reason is because they're concentrating their strategy on the advertised board search market. They're looking at roles that are advertised on the AICD job board or women on boards job boards. They're concentrating on things that they see advertised on LinkedIn or maybe Seek. And as a result, you know, they're just basically doing the very, very bare basics. They're putting an application together, they're sending it out, and really they're hoping for the best. That strategy is fundamentally flawed and because there are a lot more people in the market now that would like to secure board roles, you're finding that it's much more competitive than ever before to secure a job interview. So that's usually at the heart of it. The second key component is the presentation just isn't quite right. Whether that be the board resume, the LinkedIn profile, when you go to Google the person, the information is not correct. It's not stacking up. And we find that particularly for aspiring board directors, when you go to Google their profile, you see a project manager or a, uh, a chief technology officer. You see a lawyer maybe even a, a chief financial officer, but you don't see a board member. And that's where your brand becomes extremely important to securing meetings. And it, literally, if the brand is not right, you won't get in the door for the conversation. So you must pay attention to how you're presenting your experience. Even as an aspiring board director, you need to play the game correctly. You need to present that information in the right way for the board of directors to be interested in meeting with you. And then the final piece of the equation is you meet people all the time who are really dissatisfied with their results, they're not achieving board positions, and then you scratch behind, you know, scratch the surface and you find out that they're really doing almost minimal to zero business networking. They're not connecting with chairs, non-executive directors. Uh, you know, captains of industry, partners in law firms, accounting firms. They're not doing the networking that is required to connect with the people who ultimately make the decisions about who goes on to the board of directors. And if you are not prepared to network, you're really going to struggle to secure a, a, you know, a significant board director career in the future. So they're the three key components that are often going really wrong. And if you are struggling yourself, review those three points and see where you now need to modify your strategy to change the paradigm, to change the results that you're achieving and to secure the board appointments that you would really like to achieve in the market.